Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Google could be working on a bit of a makeover for the account profile menu in the desktop browser. So if we click on that, which is found in the top right of the toolbar, this is currently how things are looking in the stable version of Google Chrome, which is now sitting on version 122. Now, if we just head over to Chrome Canary 124, which is the latest preview version. If I click on my account profile, there we go. We see things have had a bit of a user interface makeover and adjustment with a little bit more listings uh, in that menu. And it seems now that um, Google is working on quite a significant um, update for the desktop sign-in process in Google Chrome, where they are now developing a new sign-in user interface based on what they are calling the UNO, spelled U-N-O, UNO, model on desktop, which basically is there to simplify how you log in and authenticate your account. And this is not a default feature. It's hidden behind an experimental flag in Chrome 124. So just to show you how you can enable that, if you would be interested, uh, you head up to your Omnibox, you enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, and you just type in UNO. And there we go. And I've already enabled the flag, and it says uh, under the flag, which is called Explicit Browser Sign In UR on Desktop, the description reads, enables the UNO model on desktop, used for the launch of the UNO model on desktop, as well as for the later phases of the experiment. So there's also a UNO desktop, which we may get to in another video. So this is something that uh, Google is working on. And as mentioned, with that flag enabled, you get this new makeover for the desktop signing process with your account profile uh, menu and so on. Now, I think the aim with this is to try and give and kind of give us a better, clearer prompt and better integration with the actual user interface. And yeah, we can see we've got a couple of differences um, compared to the stable. So just to go back to the stable quickly. So that's currently what it looks like in stable, a lot less going on. And with that flag enabled, there's a couple of more entries as mentioned. So uh, yeah, we get over and above what's available in stable. We get uh, we get customize your Chrome. So if you click on that, you can obviously go right to your customization options, um, which is on the you and Google page uh, in the settings. Something else um, that they have rolled out here is you can close this profile. And then yeah, at the bottom, you can manage Chrome profiles as well by clicking on that. And that was actually something managing Chrome profiles that was available to some extent or the other before Google started pushing out the UR refresh for 2023 last year. And they significantly decluttered and thinned out this account profile menu. And yeah, we can see, could be thinking of introducing some of those um, features back in once again, like customizing your Chrome uh, browser and closing this profile, just to mention two of those options. And at this stage, I'm kind of on the fence with this. Um, what I do like about it is that you have these customization options that are built right into the menu now, which, uh, which pertain to your profile and customizing the browser. What I don't like about it is it brings a lot more clutter, but it may just simplify the whole process of signing in and managing your Chrome profile and your account and so on, you know, a lot better in the browser. But still early days, it's hidden behind an experimental flag currently in Chrome 124, that, that, which is the latest preview version. And as always, I'll keep a close eye on this. And um, if I see any sign of this making its way down the so-called channels towards stable, um, obviously I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.